Okay, so it seems there is a, an easier way to blur the faces in Magix. I've done a couple of tutorials before, but uh, I think this one is the easiest way to do it. So let's let's do this. Okay, so I have this footage here with me. Let me copy it and make another one. Okay, now I move it on, on the lower track. And of course the lower track overlaps onto the first track. Now we, we keep this selected, the second footage, and we go to sharpness and we apply the blur to it. Let's apply the artistic blur because yeah this is what we want. Okay, now we go to uh, movement effects section. Okay, so we simply let's let's select here free proportion and uncheck this box. Okay, so now we simply select the the area that we want to have in blur. Okay, so as you can see my face is blurred but let's go back here and make this slightly larger. Okay, now my face is blurred but this is not enough because I move my, my head around so my face uh, will get out of the blurry area. So now we have to follow my face using keyframes. Let's go back here to the first frame. Let's select this one. Now we go to size and position, okay. And we we use keyframes. So we we blur my face right here. We click the symbol to create a first keyframe, a position keyframe. You can see it right here okay now as we move along if I well another thing that we can do basically is just enlarge enlarge this area so we will be sure that that my face is blurred so now as we move along we follow my face with new positions of the of the blurry square so I'm still there. Now I move it here and so on. Move it back here. And of course you can see the keyframes that are added here. So let's it's uh, it's no use to make this uh, all the way. So let's preview this. Actually, let's make let's make this larger from the start. Now let's preview it. So yeah, more or less the uh, the blurry area follows my face. It's pretty easy to do. It's faster. You don't have to work with an alpha mask as in the previous tutorial. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Cheers.